World Profile USV, Ukraine's rare advantage in the duel with Russia at sea. Ukraine proved weak against Russia in many aspects in the armed conflict between the two countries, according to the New York Times. However, Ukraine has a bright spot and a rare advantage, USV, a weapon that helps them reduce pressure from Russia. Ukraine's USV swarm tactics, bobbing on the waves, Ukraine's unmanned seagoing boats, USVs, spread out and move quickly towards the Russian warship, using swarm tactics. Military experts say this tactic has proven deadly effective against the Russian Navy, which dominates the Black Sea region. Meanwhile, safely stationed inside a room hundreds of kilometers away from those USVs, the Ukrainian USV surveyors pushed the steering wheel to accelerate the boat, then adjusted the camera angle mounted on the USV, continuously setting targets. In sight. On the warship, Russian sailors fired back with heavy machine guns. The short naval battle between humans and USVs took place within a few minutes, according to the group of Ukrainian USV operators. A USV rushed very close to the Russian warship. A bullet hit a 250 kg explosive block on the unmanned boat, triggering an explosion that punctured the hull of the Russian patrol ship, the Sergei Kotov. The USV surveyor mentioned above said, when we hit the target, the entire unit was filled with emotion. This contestant only allowed reporters to announce his nickname, 13. He was describing a battle at sea. That battle was one of dozens of clashes between the two sides over the past year, using Ukrainian-made USVs, according to the Ukrainian military. Such attacks are a rare bright spot in a disappointing year for Ukraine, with the country's military failing to achieve any breakthroughs on the ground. The USV tester continued, at that time, the whole team cheered and congratulated each other. However, the Russian Ministry of Defense at that time announced that the warship Sergei Kotov repelled an attack by five enemy Marine USVs. The White House advocates for Ukraine's new approach, the use of Marine drones like this is a rare strength of Ukraine in the armed conflict with Russia. The White House promoted this idea and Ukraine's leadership chose that approach. The main idea here is to supplement the Western-supplied arsenal with domestically produced Ukrainian weapons, including innovative systems such as the USV fleet. Ukraine will have to rely heavily on military aid for the foreseeable future in a conflict with the overall advantage tilted towards Russia, the more populous country with much stronger industrial capacity. Currently, public opinion is skeptical about Western aid in the context that the U.S. Congress has delayed voting on military aid to Ukraine. Faced with such obstacles, U.S. President Biden's administration is promoting joint ventures between U.S. and Ukrainian arms manufacturers. Ukrainian President Zelensky met with the general directors of U.S. military contractors during a recent visit to Washington. Some figures in the U.S. military want Ukraine to pursue a hold and build strategy. The content of this strategy is that Ukraine focuses on maintaining the territories they control, while building their own weapons production capacity in 2024. As Ukraine's counteroffensive campaign has stalled and Ukraine has little chance of advancing on the ground, a more realistic goal for them is to create a strong enough threat with long-range unmanned devices and long-range missiles, aiming for substantive negotiations with Russia by the end of next year, 2024, or 2025. During the recent counter-offensive campaign, Ukrainian soldiers suffered many painful losses. But what awaits them ahead may be even more terrible. Many Ukrainian soldiers expressed a chaotic and confused mood. The manufacturers of military aircraft and intercontinental ballistic missiles in Ukraine were once the cornerstone of the Soviet military industry. But at the end of the Cold War and when Ukraine broke away from the Soviet Union, many such factories fell into serious obsolescence. Despite this, Ukraine's domestic arms manufacturers have still secured about 20% of the Ukrainian military's needs since Russia launched a special military campaign in Ukraine in February 2022, according to Sarai Rabsky, a military analyst who served as an army colonel. Ukraine produces tanks, armored vehicles, a self-propelled gun, artillery shells, and laser-guided anti-tank missiles. However, 
the country's greatest potential is demonstrated in innovative systems that have been proven in real combat. Explosive USVs, a new type of naval weapon, were deployed by Ukraine for the first time in the defensive war against the Russian army. Kiev operates two production programs, each under one of Ukraine's two intelligence agencies, the main directorate of defense intelligence and the domestic intelligence service. Inside Ukraine's USV warehouse. The Ukrainian army provided a USV operator to the press Central West interviewed this December and allowed reporters to visit a USV factory and a place where those USVs were stored, on the condition that the location not be disclosed. The purpose of this tour, according to the General Directorate of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, is to demonstrate Ukraine's self-reliant capacity in the context of the U.S. Congress considering whether to provide more military aid to Ukraine. The Ukrainian Navy said that since their deployment in the Black Sea, USVs like this have damaged and sunk dozens of Russian ships. At the same time, along with missiles provided by the West, those USVs forced Russia to move ships from the port of Sevastopol, where the headquarters of four Russian fleets are located. In addition, USV also helps ensure a maritime corridor for Ukraine to export grain, an essential commodity for the Ukrainian economy. They also pushed Russia's missile launchers further away, giving Ukraine's air defense more time to respond. Some such USVs are only equipped with cameras for reconnaissance. Some have a mechanism to drop mines into the path of Russian ships. Most are equipped with a trigger button in the nose to detonate high explosives upon impact. Operators in the operations room use controllers to pilot the USV. These USVs are designed to attack swarms in groups of six or more, increasing the probability of overcoming defensive systems, such as deck-mounted machine guns, and reaching the Russian ship's hull. Ukrainian defenders said that on November 10, Ukrainian USV deployed a swarm attack that sank two Russian landing ships docked in a bay in Crimea. Source, New York Times